Okay, so tell me about this. Bumble has created technology that basically prohibits people from sending dirty pictures. What's the technology? So we started to see this behavior that we couldn't get under control, where it wasn't happening just on our platform. We were hearing about it anecdotally out in the wild, where predominantly women, but all genders, were receiving photos in an unsolicited format of lewd images, so inappropriate content. Right. And we couldn't get under control. And when you look at the real world, there are laws around this. It's called indecent exposure. You cannot go in the street mm -hmm. and expose yourself to strangers. You will go to jail. You will be arrested. Hollywood Boulevard. Yeah, like, you cannot be doing that. So we did two things. We went and built a product feature called Private Detector that has over 98% um, efficiency in detecting if a photo is inappropriate. And we warn you, basically, do not open this photo. We believe that there is something inappropriate behind this blur. We blur it. Mm -hmm. um, and then in tandem, we went and helped um, pass a law in the state of Texas that actually built digital accountability. And so now in the state of Texas, it is actually illegal to send unsolicited lewd photos um, across the internet wow. broadly. So not just Bumble alone, and we're working to get this passed in more states and hopefully at the federal and maybe even global level one day. Just doing God's work out here. <laughs> Wait, <it's> Hardly, <laughs> definitely not God's work, but we're just doing our small part in trying to figure out how to build healthier and more equitable relationships. And so we're really trying to just recalibrate how we treat each other starting online. I love it. You are founder of Bumble. I feel like you know what's up on, on, on the app, right? So from your professional opinion, what's a good opener if you're trying to slide into someone's messages and you're trying to break that ice? What's a good opener? What has a good success rate? There are so many, but my best advice and what we've seen through the data is pull on something from the profile. The beauty of Bumble is that you get so much more information than you would ever get in real life. If you walk into a coffee shop, you will never see more than what is exactly in front of you. So you get all this information. It's like a micro get to know you before you even say hello. So that in and of itself is powerful. So use that. So what I'm hearing is that to start a conversation, one must pay attention. Huh? <laughs> Interesting <laughs> tactic here. It's not a fascinating concept. No, and you know what? Honestly, even just saying, hey, how are you? With an exclamation works great too. Oh, I love that so much. Last question for you, Whitney. Of course, it is boss week here. I want to ask you, what does it mean to be a boss? Uh, I think to be a boss, you have to be vulnerable and you have to be kind and you have to be humble. I mean, those are things that I'm sure I'm not perfect in any of those categories. And I'm sure um, there are times where I am not those things, but I try to be those things because I think a true boss is someone that listens and, and treats others with respect and is not the traditional, you know, iron, iron fist or, you know, trying to tell everyone around them how to do things. I think a real boss is someone that has empathy. And so I try to practice those things. I'm certainly not perfect. I've got a long way to go as well, but um, that's the way I would define a boss. And I love that you said that because so often when we think of boss, we think of numbers and success and grasp, but kindness and vulnerability, those things really matter because bosses deal with people and those, those qualities matter to other people. So I love that you said that. Winnie, thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you, you are a gem for everyone watching at home. Make sure you download Bumble, it's safe, it's fun. And now you know how to slide into the DMs. What more do you need? Winnie, thank you so much. Thanks, Lily. Good to see you. I hope you're enjoying season two of A Little Late with Lily Singh. If you're not sick of this face yet, Go ahead and click subscribe right over there. Check out more clips just like this one right over there. More importantly, have a great day.